Hi guys, I want to start by saying, is it ever too late to start your December daily? Well, it's the 29th of November. I am up at 4am in the morning. It, the household has all gone to bed. We have a bizarre life um, lifestyle at, at my house. So this is the best time that I can consider for gathering. And I am gathering my supplies. This is where all of my vintage ephemera that I have kept for a period of time is all being unearthed and ready to go into a journal. I've just got a few things to start off, but I've got lots to hand. And I really am, genuinely because I've had a holiday really behind. So I've um, got some of the things that I know I have in my collection. I'm going to take advantage of, I've got this wonderful suede little Christmas with the poets. Now I'm going to have time restraints. I don't know about you guys, but I certainly, I'm going to be working a majority of Christmas, which happens every year. So some I have got to think of preparations in advance of uh, the days where I'm going to be working. I'm going to come home, I'm going to work outside, I'm going to get wet, I'm going to get miserable. So I'm going to take advantage of looking through this lovely vintage piece here. It's got all those little mottled holes and I was going to say it's dated Christmas 1917. And somewhere I feel that I am going to be able to enclose some of these little bits like Christmas Carol, Christmas Eve, and Christ's birth, in and in. So all in all, I'm going to dip into this little poet's collection, and that will help me out on some of the days. I've also gathering pieces of ephemera. I'm going to have... <coughs> Excuse me. There's nothing like a froggy in the throat first thing in the morning because you've not spoken to anybody. I'm going to take advantage of some vintage playing cards. Ephemera, as I said. I mean, I've just got a mixture here. I've just got this wonderful old little diary. I'm not too sure. I've taken the sections out, and this is dated 1946. And so I'm going to work with bits and pieces that I have in my collection. But most of all, <clears throat> I want to share with you um, this wonderful book. Now, it's pretty rough, this Wonderland book, but I remembered that there were some beautiful images. And it's working with these images. This book has, um, dare I say it, it's past its best. I paid a pound for it. I want to salvage it somehow or other, but as you will find out, some of the pages are loose and have already started the process of falling to pieces. But just look at wonderful images that we've got to work with. So I'm going to have this Christmas tide, this beautiful image here, on the front cover of my journal. So that is going to be one thing I'm going to cut out. I did actually start with a pair of scissors cutting it and I thought no let's let's share with you my process of gathering. So that's going to be a resource book for me. I'm going to have that as my front image. I've got all types of ephemera to have a little lip little flick through and so I keep boxes and boxes of odds and ends in my collection. I collect matchboxes, photographs, I mean I love ephemera from Paris but we're trying to do a Christmassy type theme. Here's the inside of that diary. So I may enclose little pieces of a diary, I've definitely got some more playing cards, but you can see in the plastic. Let's see what else we can have. We've got some, this is smocking. And if you were going back in the day and you were going to do some smocking, here is like your guideline and you just iron it off onto your work. But I just love the stamps. And also you've just got that wonderful 
feel to it. So there's also going to be a real mixture of odds and ends. You can see me flicking through. I mean gauges of all the weird things that I like to keep in my collection. But I have just picked up all types of things over a period of time. And so I'm going to be rummaging through just seeing what I've got, what I can gather, pieces of old mail, if anything that will work for me, and you name it, I've got all sorts of coffee stain paper in there as well. Right, so this is me just going through, oh, and I've got an old cookbook here. Now, I know that the book, the cover itself, I've already reused, but I'm sure tried favourite cookery book tried so here we go household hints and other useful information now the paper is absolutely wafer thin so I am going to probably have to back that but now that is something I reminisce birds custard powder with Christmas coming along there would be something like a spotty dick and we've got obviously the index here, so I'm going to see if I can find a way of enclosing some of these beautiful pages. Yet again, I've got nut cutlets. I can take from this little bits and pieces. I'm sure there's going to be something relating to Christmas and probably even some helpful tips to the, uh, the lovely lady in her kitchen. Right, you can see it's pulling apart, which is a shame. Now, I'm going to bring another box over. Bear with me. Yeah, I am working in the kitchen. So, let's see what we can gather from in here. Now, here I keep all types of paper. And so, I mean, I will collect anything. I mean, there's canal ways. So it just gives you different pages. I mean, I just love the sections in there, but that's not really going to be very Christmas orientated. So we've got this lovely piece of ephemera dated from 1929, and I'm going to use some Edith Holden pages. Always handy to have some of those in your collection. Music paper. So we can use some lovely music paper. We may even put some napkins to be decoupaged onto those. May even see if I've got something related to Christmas. We've got just a wealth of things that we can work with. So we've got Last Will and Testament, more Edith Holden pages. We've got odds and ends from an old diary of mine. There may be something, these look to me as if they're going to need me to do a little bit of coffee staining as well at some point or other. We'll see what we can find festively in there. And moving through, I mean I keep old book covers, napkins, now we've got letters here, and we've got flyers, so if, uh, the theatre here, dare I say it. Knitting patterns, not quite sure which way I'm going to go with this. I mean we've got uh, acknowledgement of receipt of uh, law of property. Some of this has come from scrapbooks. I was going to say we've got a deposit here. Anyway, I think you're getting the uh, general gist. Oh look, The King and I, a new musical play. So, I've got to try and get my head round the fact of how on earth I'm going to get this all made in a very short period of time. And then again, we're going to find more old book pages, care of clothes. I've just got things that I've coffee stained up here. So this is some lovely, beautiful quality paper, much thicker than your printed paper. I think this is all a big stack of ephemera here. And then 
we have got some more coffee staining, weddings, and then we've got some lovely sheets of paper here that I've coffee stained at some point through the summer months. And so here you go. This is roughly what I've got to work with. A whole selection of papers. And we will see what we can come up with in a very short period of time. Well, thank you guys. I just want to say <coughs> this is how I set out. And we're going to see where this goes. Catch up with you later. Bye-bye.